Well, greetings, Mr. Kolozar's class. We're going to now use our neutralization calculations to, con or to find out and calculate the concentration of an unknown acid or a base during our titrations. And so in lab and other places, what we're going to do is look at the idea of knowing one part or knowing three parts and solving for the other. So M is going to be for molarity. And V is volume. And then A is for acids. And B is for bases. So what we're going to use is this equation here. The molarity of the acid and the volume of the acid is going to be equal to the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. Now, when we work through these, part of this is going to be known. So we're going to be able to know three of the four parts and solve for the last one. So we will either know the molarity in the acid and the molarity base and have to solve for volume, or we'll know three of the any four and solve for the other one. We're going to be using the indicators to indicate a color change so that our H pluses equal the OH minuses. At that point, we are neutralized. And so if we know part of it, we can solve for the unknown part. Generally, we're going to solve for the molarity of the base or the acid. So an example here is if you had 28 or 18.28 milliliters of 0.1 molar NaOH that neutralizes 25 milliliters of HCl, then what is the concentration of HCl? HCl, remember, is our acid. So we're going to look at solving for the molarity of the acid. So to set this problem up, what we're going to solve for Molarity M1, or MAVA equals MBVB. We know that we've got 0.82 milliliters of one molar NaOH. So to set this up, we know we have 0 0.100 molar NaOH. And our next part that we know is we needed. 18.28 milliliters of NaOH to do that. We also have for concentration, we also have 25 milliliters of HCl and we're trying to find the molarity of the acid and we know we have 25 milliliters of HCl. So dividing this side by 25 milliliters cancels out. We'll divide this side by 25 milliliters. Milliliters will cancel out milliliters. 1.00 times 28.8 divided by 25 should give us approximately on our calculator 0.0. And that's our concentration molarity. In this case, it's going to be the molarity of HCl because we want our acid and base to equal each other. The H plus must equal the OH minus when we're neutralized. So you can calculate out and solve for any of the four parts given the other three parts.